new computer. It's replacing the one I've had for about five or six years. So I put a couple other videos together. You can dig around and, and find some other videos on this box, but it's a uh, Fractal Design uh, R4 case. Pretty nice case. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the motherboard and start building this thing out. And this is the first time I've tried to tape a motherboard installation or a system build like this, so uh, it's kind of an experiment for all of us. I've got a, a Gigabyte Z87 HD3 motherboard for this. They call it ultra durable. I don't know what the hell that means, but that's what they call it. When I'm working on any PC boards, memory, anything that goes in the PC, I like to stay grounded to the case at all times. Um, in the case, uh, the Fractal gives you this little box with all your bits and pieces in it. So we've got our mounting hardware in there, some zip ties, there's uh, rubber spacers, all your uh, mounting studs. All the, all the stuff you need. Right there. Not a big fan of zip ties, but there are some applications. So first of all, I always put the motherboard down inside the case, uh, see if I can get a little bit of light down inside there. I leave everything in the static bags until I have to take them out. I don't, I'm paranoid, I've fried a couple things in the past, uh, just the static electricity, so you got to be careful with it. A lot of guys don't worry, but I'm a little paranoid, so I just take a look at how it fits in there, see how everything's going to line up, see what I've got that's in the way. This case did not ship with this power supply installed. This is a thermal take 600 watt power supply. My employee picked all this, one of my employees picked all this stuff up and he, uh, he just popped it in there just for shipping purposes. He put this all back in the original box. If you watch the unboxing video, you'll see. No, I'm talking a little bit about that. I'm gonna get that power supply out of the way just to give myself a little more finger room in here. We've got a little uh, face plate for the back of the machine, fascia plate. I, I can't remember exactly what it's called in geek speak, but it's just to cover up the, uh, the back of the machine so you don't have space to give the motherboard a little support, sort of. So I've got my faceplate. This just slides into the inside of the motherboard and, and pops into the, the ridge they've got here for all your port access. Um, I've tucked my fan cord up out of the way because it's tending to be a little bit of a hassle on this machine. And you just obviously make sure uh, that this is in the right direction. It's really disappointing to throw that in and then find out that your motherboard's not going to match up. So when I, I seated the motherboard before, I double checked, made sure everything looked like it was going to line up with this, and uh, I'm going to pop that in there. And 
and it just snaps in just like that. So that's all popped in and just wanted to point this out. These ridges here are essentially spring clips and they clip in there. You do have to use a little bit of force to pop that in. Um, it's just, you know, the way it is, you gotta give it a little force. You don't wanna bend it, but be firm with it. Um, again, we're not working on cars. We're not cranking and wrenching things down real tight here, but it does take a little bit of force to get the uh, spring clip to clip around that opening. All right, so now it's time to uh, install some memory and uh, the processor on the motherboard. Um, like I've mentioned two or three times, I'm very paranoid about static electricity. It's a very cold day, it's dry here. Um, so I'm gonna keep this thing as isolated as I possibly can from static. I'm going to use the bag it came in to give me a, a little bit of a static shield. Got a little packing material on here. So what I'm going to install on the motherboard right off the bat is I'm going to, I'm going to put the memory on here. When you're installing the memory, this may be obvious to a lot of people, but I don't know. Um, we've got different colored slots here. You want uh, to fill the slots that are the same color. So I'm going to go ahead and open the tabs up on this. I'll load my 8 gigs of RAM into the two gray slots on this one. My motherboard's on a very flat surface here. We don't want to be tweaking or twisting this in any direction. I'm staying grounded to the motherboard while I'm handling the electronics. Just keeping a part of me touching it. You can use a wrist strap. A lot of guys do that. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. They kind of get in my way, so I just... Remember to always stay grounded to whatever device I'm working on. So as you can see, when you uh, put that memory in, you just push down nice and even, and it'll uh, pop those tabs up right into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the processor on this as well before I pop it in the machine. Uh, I unboxed this i7 processor in another video, but just so everybody knows, this is pretty easy. There's a small tab here. It pops out and this whole unit hinges on hinges and there's your uh, i7 CPU. An installation on these is pretty simple. Uh, I do suggest you look through the instructions if this is the first time you've ever installed one of these, but uh, if you've done a couple of them, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, the heat sink comes with the thermal paste or goo, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, already installed on there so you don't need to have a tube of it to uh, to add more just you know if you pull this off at another point you pull your processor heat sink off of this you're gonna want to reapply some of that thermal paste so here I go I'm, I'm grinding myself out to the motherboard first um, that just pops up and this is where we install the motherboard or the, this is where we install the CPU. Uh, you remove this small black cover, which conveniently enough says you need to remove it. There's a corner indicator on the top of this uh, clamp right here. It is exceedingly cold in the shop today and uh, my fingers are not working very well this morning. So I've got my processor out. Um, I keep all these little extra things, you never know. I mean, I haven't really I can't say I've used one of these recently, but um, every once in a great while I run across a situation where I got a processor, I want to keep something, so I, I keep the uh, processor boxes. Call me paranoid. Call me strange. It's okay. Um, what we've got here on the CPU, see if 
if I can show you. Up in that corner there, I don't know if you can see it or not, that top right hand corner, uh, there's the arrow indicator on that. And that matches up with the arrow indicator on the clamp that I showed you. So maintaining uh, connectivity with this board, I'm constantly staying physically connected to the board. I don't want a static charge running through that, especially on a dry day like today. Um, that processor just drops right in slot and sits right up on top there and here's your uh, indicator and here's your indicator on your clamp. So when you get this set down, uh, these two front teeth go around this uh, bolt right in the front. That slides in and you've got two feet touching the processor on each side. That's what's going to tension that down to the correct tension. Simply slide that down and lock it in place. So we've got a lot of tension on that thing. It's holding it right in place. We've got our arrows lined up and we're pretty much ready to go. Next step is we're going to put our uh, heat sink and fan on this. So up here on the top side of the motherboard, it's and most of these motherboards anymore are labeled pretty well, regardless of the brand you get. But you can see here at the top. This one is labeled CPU fan. I'm not sure if you can read it on the video or not, but that's where we're going to plug this in. I'm going to go ahead and run that around that way. That's eating up as much of that cable as I want it to. Uh, there are two keyways on this, uh, and that, those keys just slide straight in there. There's a tab on the top side of that plug. Motherboards and connectors are going to vary. They're not always exactly the same, but uh, just give a both of them. Just double check and make sure everything is looking right. And again, with all things computer, you plug it in firmly, but not too firmly. Those clamp down. I'm just gently supporting the motherboard and popping those sockets in. So I just want to verify that all of these are in. The correct way to do this, and I didn't do it correctly because I wasn't thinking, is you start on one side, you do the diagonal thing. But all four of those are in to their slots correctly. And I'll show you what we have on the end. You can see that there's just two teeth that pop through the motherboard, and there's a uh, compression type that CPU down to the motherboard. Holds the, holds the uh, cooling fan in place. So if you're so all the parts I want to put on the motherboard are installed now. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to just put this back inside of a static bag and put it aside while I get the case ready. Yeah. Well, I guess case ready for the motherboard. Put that aside. Yeah.